Last lesson, we saw how we can retrieve data from the API. Now we need to make use of this data and output it within our HTML. So let's open up our editor and update some of our HTML. So we have our output area, we have a score, we have a button to move to the next one. We need to also grab that output area into a usable format, so an object. We'll just do get element by ID, grab that output element into the value of output. And now we can also make use of the results here. So let's set up a variable. I'm going to call it obj. And I'm going to basically place this value in so I don't have to keep rewriting it. And we can also build out our HTML. So there we go. So we've got our HTML. And then what we want to do is out build out what our HTML is going to look like. So in here, we just simply have to do HTML plus, plus equals, and then here's where we can build out, like if we needed a div, which we should probably wrap it with a div and close it. So we build that out. And then lastly, we do output inner HTML equals HTML. So we simply output that content. So first of all, let's try this out. So now we've made some changes. And it's always a good idea to constantly check in case you get some errors. So you see that we did get one error there being thrown. So what happened here is I, when I copied and pasted, I kept that extra rounded bracket in there. So now we go to the console. So everything is working. We've got our question popping up. We can load more. So everything is still working. So now we need to break this up, some of this content. We see that we've got categories. So that's probably a good place to start that we can create a div in here, give it a class. I'll just call it cat for short. And then this is where we're going to drop our category. And then here, now we can do object category. So what other information do we need? And let's uh, separate this out. And then usually I like to just double check and make sure that it's still working. So load more, and let's uh, take a look at our HTML. Just make sure that it's always building it out properly. So we've got our question, and we've got our category. So that is working. So next thing that we might want to do is we want to output the question, obviously. So we need to have somewhere to output that for the users. So we'll give this one class, question, close that off, close off the div. And then in here, we can add in the question for the user. First thing I usually like to do is just build out what it's going to look like and then do the styling afterwards. So I'm just adding in a lot of this stuff kind of as placeholders for the styling. And let's uh, clean this up a bit. So close that one off. Let's we'll start out a brand new line there. So we also need to list out so we've got the category, we've got the question, and we could also list out the difficulty if we wanted to, or we could score differently for difficulty. So the next thing that we need, so let me uh, just refresh. I know I've got the question in there twice. And what we need to do is we need to give the user some options, some buttons to click. And if we take a look at the way this is structured, so we've got this multiple here that allows us to determine what type of question it is. So let's build this out. And what I want to do is I want to create a function that's actually going to build this out and return back the HTML for it. Because we know that we've got the correct answer, and then we've got some optional incorrect answers. So let's set that up. And in the next lesson, we're going to take care of that. We're going to have a function, and this is going to be the question builder. It's not really question builder, but you get the idea. And what it's going to do is it's going to return the formatted HTML. So we're going to pass in the possible options. So we're going to pass an incorrect and correct all within, within two different values. And then we'll loop through it. So we're going to check to see if the type is multiple. And if it is, then we know we need to build out our questions in this type of format. So all of that is coming up.